Assalamu alaikum everyone, I'm Zareen and I have come after such a long time. Yes, I took a break, but yes, I have to come. So today I am back with a very horrible topic. It's, it doesn't mean that it's so horrible, it's so frightening, but actually we really have to know about it. So as you can see on the screen, it's already written that we are going to learn different ways of saying yes. So yes, the word yes is really common and really boring if we hear it almost all the time. So yes, we have to find alternate for the word yes and that's why I'm here so yes there are few informal ways if you want to say something and also formal ways there are informal and formal ways in every case if you are talking so you have to be careful in that case you have to see the person whom you are talking to and thus use the words so first of all we're gonna learn the informal ones then we're gonna learn the formal ones and also I'm gonna give examples for each and every one so don't miss this video okay and don't skip it so number one number one is okie dokie so okie dokie is actually used when you are talking to a friend or a sibling of your age or less than your age but not more than that okay not I mean elder than you so someone asks you that do you want to go out for ice cream and you say okie dokie I will and if it's your friend in case if it's someone who is really close to you and with whom you can talk informally it is free okay now let's move on to number two and number two says text K or OK so what does this mean here I am talking about just texting okay when you are sending SMS to someone or when you are messaging someone then if someone asks you that would you like to go to the cinema today and then you say K okay, I'm in K okay, I'm in you just don't pronounce the O here sometimes people do that they say K okay, I'm in Okay, I'm in. So this is also an informal way if you're just messaging with your best friend or a friend or a sibling You just say, okay, I'm in. So this is also informal. So you have to be really careful when you use it now number three All right Do you want to go out for the amusement park or do you want to go to the amusement park? Then you say, all right, I will Okay, all right, I will. And the next one, which you see, all righty, this is also kind of the same. All righty, just you add the Y to make it a little bit more fun because you know fun is everything. Okay, now let's move on to the next slide. And here we have number five. So, number five says, sounds good. So, uh, would you mind going to the cinema or would you mind going for a coffee sounds good yeah someone may ask you that would you mind for going for a coffee this means that that person is asking for you to come and have coffee with him or her and then someone really informal really close asks you that would you mind doing that would you mind going there then you say sounds good it's interesting that's why you say it sounds good now number six for sure for sure I will do that. Will you do that? For sure. I'm really really 100% sure that I will do that but you actually cannot use it in front of an older person who is like really reputative or something. Now, sure thing. Are you in for the carnival? Sure thing. I'm really really in. I wish to go to the carnival. I'm really really interested. So you use sure thing when you have no other options. You're canceling what you got the chance of. Now, yep. I use this word a lot when I talk with my friends. Hey Zareen, would you mind going out for a sec? Yep, I will. And then the next one is yay. So my father asks me, do you want to go for a vacation? I say, yay, I will want to go for a vacation. Uh, I mean, who doesn't want to? But actually, we are learning. So let's keep learning then. 
Now we got to the next slide and this is number 10. So number 10 is yeah. I also use this a lot when I'm chatting, especially with Muhammad Yasser sir, I use the word yeah. And yes, you have seen if you have chatted with me anytime, you see that in case of yes, I write yeah because you know, yes is so common that I feel really bored. But actually, it is an informal word, so I am repeating again and again. You have to be careful what you are talking about okay now yes you got the first position yes this is what this yes is it doesn't I mean it isn't the answer of any question it just expresses that you are in a matter of joy you are going through a matter of joy so that's when you say yes and then totally are you in for the cinemas totally I'm in I love seeing the movies okay now totes totes is a very common word I mean in British people usually use this word totes and American people also use this whenever their friend only the friend is asking for something not any other person this only happens in case of the friends and now we have sure so sure is also a formal word we also use it formally but generally it is used as an informal word that are you in grade 7 or uh, I mean you can use any other example here like are you willing to go to the cinema are you willing to go to the carnival sure I am willing so you just use it formally sometimes and informally sometimes now you bet number 15 you bet so someone asks you that are you willing to go to the cinemas and then you say you bet it means that you guess what I'm trying to say that means it's actually a yes so you hear what I'm saying this is really easy guys so don't forget to learn them just learn them just hear them again and again do not memorize anything okay just try to understand what I'm talking about now we're gonna move on to the formal words there are few formal words only nine of them which I have gathered you can search anywhere for other formal words and you can write in the comment section what else you get okay but according to me I'm gonna show you nine so the first one is obviously hey do you mind giving me your exam copy so that I can match them with mine obviously if your teacher asks for your homework you can say obviously ma'am I can give my homework to you now affirmative affirmative is really really uncommon guys because you know the word affirm means yes you are saying yes for something so in case of foreigners use this affirmative that are you willing to go somewhere affirmative it means yes i am willing now certainly just like i said obviously you're gonna use certainly yeah do you mind giving your homework to me certainly i will give it to you so this is kind of the same as obviously and definitely is also the same definitely i will give my homework to you so definitely certainly and obviously are kind of the same now let's move on to the last but not the least slide and number five of course the last three which I told of course has the same meaning to that so do you mind giving me your songbook so that I can know the lyrics of course here it is so sometimes you can add other words with it of course here it is of course there you go of course I'm interested so it's easy now gladly gladly I would like to do that would you like to do that gladly I would like to do that it means that you are accepting the request and you are glad that you are accepting the request now number seven the lucky number seven is absolutely and absolutely is known by almost everyone in foreign countries also in Bangladesh do you mind uh, or do you have the math class work absolutely I have it now number eight indeed 
Are you sure you want to go to the movies? Indeed, I'm sure. I am sure indeed. This is also an affirmative one, okay? And the last but not the least, undoubtedly. Undoubtedly, I want to go to the cinemas. Undoubtedly, I want to go for a coffee with you. So that's it, guys. I hope you learned something from this video. And inshallah, Zareen will be seeing you in a very fantastic and fantastic video next time. Till then, keep your eyes on Tisol Bangladesh. Assalamualaikum. Bye-bye.